My Pride is not intended for children and contains mature themes and violence. A thousand seasons ago, the world was a very different place. Instead of the small prides we know today, all lions belong to one of three great kingdoms. The Moon Kingdom, the Sun Kingdom, and the Storm Kingdom. The Storm Kingdom was favored by Kansu, the Wanderer, goddess of travels, wisdom, and rain. The Sun Kingdom was blessed by Suns, the trickster, goddess of wrath, life, and the sun. Her eye watches as long as the day is light. The Moon Kingdom was blessed by Azra, the guardian, Sansa's blind twin sister, and goddess of mercy, death, and the moon. Once per generation, each great kingdom had a leader divinely chosen by their goddess. This chosen lion ruled their kingdom until the next chosen came of age. Ugh, all this lead up is boring. Get to the part about Kyoga and her one true love. I don't hear about light and how he kicked Karabi the Terrible's butt and saved the world. Spark, that's not how it happened at all. Do you ever listen? Enough. If you don't settle down, I won't tell you the story again at all. Yes, yes grandmother. grandmother. Ow. Oh, where was I? The great kingdoms fell because of Azra's chosen leader of the Moon Kingdom, Kyoga. Here she is! Shh! After generations of hostility between their two kingdoms, Kyoga was said to be bonded to Sansa's chosen lion of the Sun Kingdom, Light. Light and Kyoga fell deeply in love. Both kingdoms eagerly awaited their bonding day and the peace which would follow. But just before this ceremony, Kyoga was kidnapped by a monster, an evil, jealous lioness known as Karabi. Karabi stole Princess Kyoga away from her love and her family. Mother, are you filling their heads with nonsense again? It's history, Power Strike. It's important. It's cool. It's boring. If it doesn't fill bellies, it's not doing us any good. Are you ready for the hunt, Sharp Tongue? Hmm. I suppose I am. No! Does she have to? <laughs> oh, don't be so upset that you have to spend the afternoon with your dad. Dad! We'll be off then. Starmane, I trust you'll keep their heads out of the clouds. Yes, ma'am. You hear that, Cubs? Nothing but cold, hard reality from now on. Ugh, reality is the worst. We'll be back soon. Bye, Bye Mom. Mom. Let's keep playing. I'll be Light and you be Karabi, and we'll fight. Who do I get to be? You get to be Kyoga. Go stand over there and look sad. What? That's not fair. Kyoga doesn't do anything. That's exactly why you're her. Dad, Spark's being a jerk again. I'm lost. What are you arguing about? You don't know the story? I'm fuzzy on the details. Light loved Kyoga, but then she got kidnapped, and everyone died, and now we have prides. Even I know that wasn't right. I'll tell it! Karabi kidnapped Kyoga and took her far away from Light. It started a huge war between the kingdoms and Light vowed to save her. When he had finally found them, Karabi had already killed Kyoga. Light vowed to avenge her. He and Karabi battled for days, but Light had the power of love on his side, and he was finally able to defeat her. The war ended after that, but the kingdoms were too broken to fix. So Light created Pride Law so everyone could be happy again. That's why we live in Prides today. That's a pretty violent story for you, Cubs. I should have a talk with Sharp Tongue about that. I love her Sharp Tongue stories. Are the best. I don't like them either, Dad. You don't count. You don't like anything. I like things. I just like real things, not stories. Like Mom says. Real things are fun, too. Let's play main and no main fire. Rawr! I said real things. 
Lionesses are too weak to be mains. I don't want to play that game with you. She's trying to be nice to you, bird brain. You never break the rules even when we're just playing. That, that's a real no mean. Stay calm, cubs. I'm going to... Sunsa's flaming eye! Stay here in the tall grass. Don't move. Run! Find your mother! You hurt him. We have to go. He has to win. He has to. Cubs. This pride isn't mine until the old man's young are gone. No use in hiding. Ah. There you are. You've done yourself a favor, Cub. Get away from my brother! <coughs> Spark! Oops. Don't be sad, little lioness. You'll be with him again momentarily. Asper may take me, but you will never win. What's that supposed to <coughs> Let go of me, demon! I smell blood. Over there! Dobby! didn't find me. What about Spark? But you're still here. That's what counts. Come on, let's go tell Mom. Sister, what's wrong? It, it's my leg. It hurts when I step on this one. Do you need help? N no, I'm okay. It doesn't hurt if I don't put any pressure on it. Okay, come on. We should just kill him! He's a pathetic, spineless, weak, half-blind joke of a mane! But I won the battle with Starmane honorably. I swear it was that cub, the female. There's something wrong with that one. It said something evil before it attacked me. 
like it was possessed. She is my cub, and you will not refer to her as it. Pride law is not so simple as to allow us to just kill him, Power Strike. While I agree, he is in the main I would have chosen. He defeated Starmane in fair combat. He was bested by a cub, Mother. The pride is rightfully his. <laughs> so you think I should just let him kill my other two cubs because he says he defeated Starmane fairly? I did. Quiet! I'm not saying you should let him do anything to them. My decision, as Hans Chief, is to have them coexist. Coexist? He bested Starmane in combat, and so the pride rightfully belongs to him. Your daughter then bested him in combat, which proves that she and Fire have a right to the pride as well. So, let them both have it. Ugh, that'll never work. How could we ever trust him alone with them? If it was the will of the three sisters for them to die, they would already be dead. If you harm these cubs, you will earn the ire of the goddesses themselves. How do you know the goddesses are involved? I see things you cannot. I know. You expect my cubs to be protected by nothing more than superstition? He'll never keep his word. He'll keep it. If he doesn't, he'll have defied the gods. And I don't believe even this half-wit of a mane is stupid enough to do that. Mom, look! Sister is okay. <gasps> Thank the goddesses. What's wrong with your leg? It, it hurts when I step on it. But she's okay otherwise. Hurt is better than dead. Hmm. Of course, Fire. I know now what my mother couldn't tell me then. That injury changed everything. From that day forward, my life would never be the same again. Either 